time. But right now... The Radio Wemo Breakfast. Wine Vault Radio with Jason Bryant from winevaulttv.com. Yes, indeed. Wine Tastings live in the Kiwi studio. Jason Bryant, good morning. Good morning, Wemo. How are you? Lovely, lovely to see you. I'm very well. It's been a busy week with 31 bands. Yeah, yeah, I'm not surprised. Also, you've got the comedy going on, haven't you? And there's comedy. Gosh, yes, NZ Music Month comedy. There's a Writers Festival in Auckland starting up soon. Um, There's a bunch of stuff that... That happened, it's happens happening in Auckland. And I'm just thinking, right now. Maybe, maybe we need to do some spread some stuff around the, the rest of the year. You sound like you're getting old. <laughs> I went out to some comedy last night. Carrie Marks. Some pommy dude, I believe. Some pommy, pommy guy. Yeah. Um, he's a guy who likes to push the boundaries. Yeah. 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 Things you can't joke about. There aren't that many things nowadays that you can't <laughs> joke about. I mean, everything's been talked about on TV yeah. and, and made fun of on TV and. This isn't going to translate very well because it's me saying it, but he came out and said Jews. Jews. Mm. And everyone went, oh. <laughs> See, I'm quite comfortable with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When, when, is, when does it become okay <laughs> as a kind of generation to talk about Jews and the war and, well, I don't, and stuff like that? I don't know. No, I don't we're, we we're quite go there talk about Christ. We won't go there because we'll end up with emails. <laughs> yeah, good point. It's, it's okay by me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. well, let's stick to what yeah, exactly. <laughs> let's stick to what we know. We'll get you to sorry, tip tip that up a little bit yeah. as well. Yeah, good. Um, uh, yeah, and, the, and we're going to talk about a wine region that we haven't spoken about, and not a lot of people speak about at all. Actually, have a guess. What region don't you hear a lot about? Okay, so we hear a lot about Marlborough. We hear a lot about Waipa. We hear a lot about Otago, yeah. um, Gisborne. We do hear about um, uh, Gisborne Hawks Bay, West Auckland, not so much. Nelson. Nelson? Well, I kind of lump Mulbrane with Nelson. Oh, you're doing them a disservice. I, I, I went to Newdorf uh, once yeah, yeah, in Nelson. Yeah, yeah. That's a nice place. I mean, that's the only thing people kind of remember yeah. from, from Nelson. Well, it's because they've got a good setup, and then you know when you go there, you, you're going to get a good little tasting, and they've yeah. got some nice food yeah, and absolutely. a lovely setting. And the wines are great. And the dog's really, really, really cool as well. <laughs> Dog that hangs out there. You can give him a little pat. He's so nice. I thought that I'm going to bring back Nelson. Okay. BBN. BBN? Yeah. Bring back Nelson. Um, because it's just kind of like been overshadowed by absolutely everybody else. They make some pretty tidy wine, but they're, they're all family owned down yeah. there. Well, it's good. good. Yeah. 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 But kind of like they've been overshadowed by everybody else. Kind of like Central Otago's prominence with uh, Pinot Noir and obviously Marlborough, kind of with Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. Um, notice how you drop the C. Blanc. 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 Yeah. Um, Blanc. So I thought that, um, uh, slightly ironic that we've got Gewurztraminer today as well, seeing as it's a, um, we were just talking about kind of like the Germans, and um, um, <laughs> yeah, we there's a there. nice segue, <laughs> um, from our, originally from Alsace, yeah. and Alsace was in one of these territories, I mean right now it's with, um, in France, yeah. but it's been kind of German, Fr- French, German, French, German, French, kind of, and it's... It's still French at the moment, so yeah. who knows what's going to happen, especially with the, the turmoil in Europe. Oh, gosh. Right now, it's full on at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. People dying and... Greek wine ought to be dirt cheap at the moment. Is there, is there such a thing as Greek wine? Do you know what? European wine will be dirt cheap. Mm. And that's a worry also and a consideration for New Zealand, Australia and American wine because with the euro plummeting the way it is, yeah, um, their wines become cheaper. Mm, good point. And so they become more accessible, and yeah. with everybody on this downturn, they're also, they're also still seen as a premium product, aren't they? Yeah, a lot of them are. Yeah, it's just a, I mean, it's a perception thing. Yeah. Mm. Um, and so that's going to be worrying, and especially with our dollar going up, so the imports of New Zealand wine will see them more expensive overseas. Um, the kind of euro going down means that French wine and European wine will be cheaper. Yeah. In foreign markets and so that's going to be a, a, a bit of concern and we've just broken the billion dollar um boundary and um for the first time have we yeah in wine exports per year for a year yeah okay which is significant that's good times yeah it's kind of one of the top it's in the top 10 um export commodities yeah which is pretty good and it's agriculture obviously number one yeah, of course, and it's something we need to be celebrating, of course, because uh, we need to be exporting more, we need to sort that out, we need to make sure that we're um, sorting out our debts by by earning money from overseas, and the wine industry is certainly pulling its weight. It, it certainly is, but it just needs to get a bit more kind of funky. Now, this is Seafried, 
Um, it converts from in at 13.5%. Um, 20, $22. That's the 08. Now, they didn't... Um, Marlborough suffered in the 08 vintage, but Nelson didn't. Mm. So, um... Yes, gosh. Um, just, just, you've opened up the bottle and... Uh, the the air conditioning has just moved it around the studio, and boy, it's strong. It's aromatic, and that's what yeah. you should get from Gewurz. You should get some kind of lychee, some um, rose petals, some Turkish delight. All of those kind of really nice fragrant characters should be leaping out of that um, that wine and, and making it a really kind of like aromatic, floral kind of sensation. Mm. And then you should get it should be quite fleshy on the palate as well. A bit of oiliness there as well. Definitely, but it's um, oh gosh, really, it's really it's got legs on the glass. I mean, you can smell the aromatics from it now. You guys, if you could smell this, this is oh wow. I get a bit of kind of um, black mm. tea mixed with Turkish tea. delight, yeah. mixed with kind of rose petal oil. Um, Definitely, if you've ever bathed in rose petals, this is kind of what you get. Oh, all the time. Yeah, <laughs> most Friday nights. Exactly. <laughs> it's how I roll. So, yeah. How John rolls. Yeah. <laughs> um, Whoa, it's big. That's an explosion. Gosh, it is. that's really nice. You get a bit of spice there. Mm. That's why it's so mm. well matched with kind of Asian food. Because you get a bit of spice. It's quite fleshy. It can cut through all of those kind of like sushi, uh, sashimi... Um, Thai mm. dishes with a bit of chili. Um, Gosh, this would have gone nice with it. I had some sashimi last night. Yeah, yeah, it would have been a ripper with it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, and, that, and that's what you get from Gewurztraminer. And that spice is um, is a real surprise. It's, you don't you don't expect that on the first sip at all. Yep, but it's nice, isn't it? Where did the, where, where, did, where the heck does that spice come from? It's inside the grape. It is the grape. It's the grape. It's not another we process. Don't add it. We don't go. Oh, tip we'll some add pepper a bit in of there. Chili, <laughs> bit of cayenne. <laughs> Stir it round Isn't that extraordinary? Oh, we better ferment it in rose petals. Yeah. Um, Spice from the grape. Yeah. Wow. You know, uh, there are 1,500 grape varietals out there, of which 150 are regularly used for making wine. Yeah. We're, we're exposed to such a small kind of amount of those wines that are made on the world stage. Mm. So we tend to think of, especially in single varietals as well. So we... we the new world is kind of obsessed by single varietals, and being having you know, so many different varieties out there yeah. that are um, you know, mostly untapped. Yeah. Uh, does that mean that the the wine bible is unfinished? Uh, could there be some new yeah. blends out there? Some new um, yeah. some new vines that could totally come up with something. Yeah, although I, I'm still of the the old school that it's probably every grape varietal is kind of suited to a certain region and climate and stuff yeah. like that. And within those regions in the old world, they would have tried everything. And so that's why you've got the, the blends that are on now. We have this obsession with trying to put Chardonnay with Sauvignon Blanc, with Pinot Gris and Gewurz, and trying to make this mm. all-encompassing wine, which... Frankenstein. Yeah, it's Frankenstein. <laughs> and it's kind of like, naturally, they, they're, they're not suitable in each other's climate, yeah. so you have to get them from around the place. And um, that would be one of the things that I'd really don't like because everything pretty much um to do with wine because it's an old technology an old yeah. kind of elementary product uh, has been tried before well I, I pity the fools who first bought the grapes in new zealand and had to to work out which ones were suited to our to our climate yeah and yeah and that, that's the tough part that's mm. the that's the kind of explorer side of our of our wine History. It's got untold, really. I, 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 is it do, is it very well documented anywhere? Not really. No. You know, we're, we're oh yeah, should be right. Yeah. <laughs> like Romeo Brigato yeah. and his research ag research station down in uh, Tukfalta. And um, do you like my pronunciation on that? Mm, it's probably, almost yeah. Maori. There must be a country calendar on it somewhere. Oh, there there are probably a few bits mm. and pieces that you could kind of join up and make one doco. No one's really done it. Here's a project for you in Winebot TV. I I, I'm, I'm going to hopefully start embarking on, on something like that. Oh, okay. Um, with a little other ticky tour that I'm going to be doing, I can kind of incorporate that. And, yep, 
That's, that's how I'm going to roll. Great. No doubt we'll hear more about that in the future. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Wemmo. Thank you, Jason Bryant. WineVaultTV.com. And, of course, go hit him up on Twitter as well. Twitter.com uh, forward slash The Wine Vault. All right, let's take a break. Kiwi FM and the documentary.